This week, it's finally time to strip the ugly paint off this car. So let's do it. Garage time. Okay, before I start ripping paint off this car, I'm gonna put the wheels back on, fenders back on, put it back together like a real car, and then uh, work on the stripping from there. Still left with a mess here from uh, all the suspension pan work that was done. So I'm gonna reattach the suspension arms, you know, not for the final time, but just to get everything back together so I put the wheels back on. Okay, I did put a little bit of uh, undercoating down here, just out of an aerosol can, and the texture is nowhere near the same as the original coating, that's the original. But without the correct shoots gun, it's really almost impossible to make it look factory. Probably wasn't even worth it, because it, it doesn't look very good. I'll come back later when I do the rest of the undercoating and uh, touch this up. I just wanted to take a moment to thank all of you who are watching this video. Um, I know that uh, everything up until this point has been pretty uh, tedious and uh, not that exciting in terms of modifications, but I think it is you know, a strong foundation for uh, a lot of cool stuff to come. So I appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Um, help the channel grow. You know, this channel is all about inspiring you to build your dream car. I'm basically at the same point now with the car as I was before all the suspension pan replacement stuff, which is I think about four weeks ago. So, you know, that was a big diversion. Um, the car needed it, so I, I, can't, I can't complain. I'm really happy with the way it came out. But um, now that all the metal working's done, now it's time to work on the body and paint. The method I'm going to use to strip the paint is kind of a two-part approach. First is aircraft stripper. This is for the upper layers of paint. A lot of panels on this car have a lot of paint on it. So this uh, really gets that first couple layers, softens the paint. So the second method is a, is a mechanical method. This is a strip it disc. You can see it's got a very coarse texture to it. And this ends up taking the softened paint by the aircraft stripper and just balls it up and throws it off the car. Um, not a lot of dust because it's sort of chemically softened. So this is how I like to do it. There's a tons of ways to do it. Um, one thing to be very concerned about with this method is the acid. So the acid has to be neutralized before the epoxy primer can go on. And also once the metal is stripped, it needs to be epoxy primed as quickly as possible. So I'll go through all the steps but uh, you don't want to leave bare metal too long, which is why I've left the paint on here as long as I have. And um, you know, you got to make sure it's clean and it has to have a good mechanical adhesion. So we'll, we'll cover all that, but right now, just stripping. Okay, I'm going to be taping up all the seams where I don't want the acid to get into. Um, I would rather leave the edges untreated than to have acid soaking into areas I don't want, especially some seams. So I'm going to go through and tape it up. I forgot to hit record on this uh, process here, but basically you just 
pour the paint stripper on and brush it out. The plastic is there to uh, keep the chemical in contact with the paint as long as possible, prevents a little bit of evaporation. This hood has 14 layers of paint, so it's going to need another round of paint stripper. Okay, round one got all the way down to bare metal on the factory paint, but not on the hood. So the hood has several layers, but this went really well here. It works better on horizontal surfaces than it does the vertical surfaces. So down here, um, I might just do a real light coat of paint stripper to soften up that last little bit, but the, uh, the strip of disc will get this off too. I'm gonna rough this up again with the DA sander too, so I don't wanna get it perfectly clean because I'm, I'm going to do a secondary step or a tertiary step. But you can see back here the paint's falling off. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but the paint is literally uh, jumping off the car. That's the sound of ugliness flying away. Okay, I've gone about as far as I can go with the strip it disc. You know, it's 99% of the paint is off. What's left um, are a few of these little black spots, which is just the factory primer or whatever primer was on this uh, hood at least. So that's a gray primer. Some of the other panels, like this is a factory fender. It's like a, it's like a rust colored brown primer. But uh, this has been about, I would say on and off, maybe six hours worth of work with a paint stripper and the strip of disc. These brown spots are, is not rust, it's actually just the primer on the roof there. But I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really liking it. It's, uh, it's basically all, all metal for a change. Made a total mess of the floors here, so I'm gonna spend a few minutes just sweeping up. All right, I got most of the trash and dust off the floor, did a little power dusting with my uh, leaf blower in the garage. It's kind of a messy day. I, I need to take a shower because it's all in my hair and it's everywhere. Um, so that probably looked a little easy in the video, uh, I'm guessing, because I didn't take a lot of video. Um, first, I forgot to turn the camera on when I was pouring the stripper and taping up the window. And, uh, and then second, it just got too dusty in here to really keep the camera um, on. So I didn't want to, I didn't want to wreck the camera. Um, but just to, in, in summary, I mean, I think it took about six hours. I was uh, letting the stripper work while I was hitting the other side with the strip it disc. Um, I have, here's the strip it disc. It's still, still in good shape. You know, I, I love these things. They don't, they don't clog up like sandpaper does. It's very coarse. It's almost like a coral. Um, the diameter didn't change that much. I mean, it's, it's got a little bit of a, of, a, of an edge to it, but uh, you know, I've been using this thing for years. There's a link in the description below if you wanna uh, check this out. 
Also, the sander is key. This is a Makita GV5000. Um, you know, there's tons of ways to strip a car. Everyone has, every, every method has a disadvantage. Uh, this is kind of what I like to do. Uh, yeah, it takes a long time, uh, but it also takes a long time to transport this thing to like a sandblaster or something. Okay, I wanna start the uh, neutralizing process on the hood because I have it all taped up and I wanna um, take the tape off so I can lift the hood a little bit and get all the edges that were missed because of the tape. So I wanna um, start here and just kind of do one panel at a time. I'll show you what it's like. I'm just using, um, this is Dawn liquid detergent and I have a little, like a, a sprayer bottle. Just putting in a little bit of soap. All right, so I got warm water, soap, a brand new uh, Scotch-Brite pad, and a roll of paper towels. Okay, I've scrubbed that water onto the surface and now I want to eliminate whatever contaminants are on the surface. So I'm going to wipe in one direction and then fold the cloth. You can see it's, it's really dirty. Okay, now this step is probably not necessary, but I, I, I'm gonna do it anyways. I have this as a heat gun, and I'm really just trying to remove any of the uh, water still left on the surface. Okay, I've just done that first pass on the, the entire hood, and it's, it's looking a little bit cleaner. Um, Still very splotchy just based on the way that strip it disc works. Uh, there's also a little bit of the, um, I think it's the uh, galvanized coating on here too. So you're seeing some different colors of gray. Uh, part of that's due to the galvanized coating. You know, it's impossible to try to preserve all of it, but I try not to go through the galvanized coating if at all possible. But by the time the 80 grit hits it, it's probably gonna be gone. Um, but what, what I wanted to show you here is there are some areas of discoloration. I don't know if you can, yeah, here, if you can see here, this doesn't look like the rest. Okay, so this is, instead of being a, a silver color, this is kind of a green color. And then over here, this doesn't look like the rest either. And uh, that is concerning to me. So I'm going to scrub that again. I have a feeling this might be trapping some of the acid uh, because the way the color is just different. So. I want everything to look uniform, so I'm going to go back over these two spots and wipe it down again. After that second round, I don't see any more stains in the metal. so. It's those dark, um, those dark kind of maroon stains that I feel are not good. So now I have uh, shiny metal or, or sort, of, sort of blotchy metal, but I'm, I'm reasonably confident now that the contamination um, due to the acids of the paint stripper are now off of the hood at least. So that's the process. I'm gonna keep doing that. Um, but the next step is to get the 80 grit DA sander and remove all the last little bits of paint, like right here, that's gonna come off and it's gonna get that mechanical uh, tooth to it. Also, I need to find a tool to come in here and get that corner because none of the, uh, the discs could reach that there. 
Okay, this is um, just an orbital automotive um, DA sander, pretty old one. Um, it's in orbital mode and it's got 80 grit on it, so I'm gonna just go over it. Okay, so this is what I believe is going to be the foundation for the paint job. Um, this will get uh, wiped down with wax and grease remover and cleaned really well uh, in addition to the cleaning that was already done. But this is the kind of mechanical tooth that's needed. Now, you can see some discoloration um, between, there's a kind of a brighter spot and then this is a darker spot. Um, here's a good example. Let me turn this. Yeah, you can, you can see some variation in the metal color. And I really believe that is from the zinc or galvanized coating that comes from the factory. Remember this, even though it looks like a long hood, uh, that was my addition. This came from a later car, which definitely was uh, galvanized coated. So like for instance, this fender here is non-galvanized coated. So you're gonna see a little difference in color between these two body panels basically because of the way they were delivered from the factory. So it's nice to keep as much of the galvanizing coating on there, but in reality, the epoxy primer is as good as the galvanized coating. So I'm not worried about you know, breaking through at all. Please check back next week to see the primer on this car. I know I'm really excited about it. You also may be able to see it a little bit earlier on Instagram at augaragetime.com, Facebook at augaragetime, or Twitter, same place, augaragetime.com.